So the other day I was told that I was acting like a child and then I told them that they were acting like a child and then I realized I was acting like a child. So here I am doing the mental age test. I guess you take this test and it tells you your mental age. So fuck it, let's do it! All right, start, okay. Birthdays are a time to meet the family. Fuck that. A time to get wasted. I can't drink. A time for prep. Hell yeah! Get some presents? PlayStation 4? Something to ignore. Well, maybe when you're like 80. But probably... Uh, the time for presents, of course. Gifts are amazing. You read Apple... Uh, you read Apple have... What the fuck? I can't read. You read Apple have launched a new iPhone. You think, not another one already. I want one now. Do, bad, uh, do the batteries last a long time? What's the point? A phone is... Well. Fuck that. See, I made a video bashing the new iPhone 7. And then eventually, guess what happened? I got the iPhone 7. So, I mean, at first I was like, not an, uh, at first I was like, not another one already because, you know, they drop one like every freaking year. Um, I always think about the batteries, so do the batteries last a long time. You see someone fall over in the street, do you laugh, run over to make sure they're okay? Why would you, uh, thank heavens it wasn't you? True. Shake your head and think, Muppet. I mean, I... <sighs> I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I would laugh. If they're far away, then I would laugh, but if they're like right in front of me, then I would be like, hey, are you okay? But, I mean, it, you see someone fall over in the street. Um, it depends on who they are too, because if it's like an old ass lady, then I, I would feel horrible. But if it if it's like a teen, uh, laugh, I would laugh, I'm sorry. I'm about to get like a four year old. Life is fun, what you make it. All about fame. Life's what you make it. All right, life is fun. It depends on how you live your life. So life is what you make it, but make it fun if you can. My cap, baseball caps are better. Bitch, backwards. You find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You can't believe you wore it and throw it out. That one, I'm not even gonna read the rest. Twitter is confusing, essential, pointless, annoying. It wakes me up in the morning. Okay. I think Twitter is essential because, like, I love Twitter. And it, like, connects with every single social media. So make sure you guys go follow me at What's Good Xavier and tweet me. Because I love talking to you guys and, like, retweeting you and shit. So you guys are nice to me. So I would say it's an essential for me. Depends on who you are, I guess. You get passed on the motorway by a Ferrari. You think, sweet. Bet, uh, bet the driver is, oh. A wanker, I'm guessing. Is that what it is? Anyway, they're not getting uh, they're not getting there any quicker. Yes, they are. If you get past. Not surprising. You were only going probably sweet. Because they got a Ferrari. Hell yeah, the dope. That's fucking cold as fuck. Ferraris? I wish. Politically, you are conservative, green, liberal. I do not appreciate putting my political business out. No, I'm kidding. Um oh, conservative. McDonald's is a great place to meet. Okay for a quick snack. It's disgusting, nice and warm. Bitch, I fucks with McDonald's fries. I fucks with them shits. You're planning a house. Uh, you're planning a house party. You think about telling your neighbor. Why the frick would I tell my neighbors that I'm having a house party? Like, hey guys, I'm having a house party. You gig? Yeah, man. Make sure you got enough. What the fuck, bitch? You better stand. Find out where the cheapest vodka is, AKA apple juice and Kool-Aid. Make a list of people you aren't going to invite. Sounds like me. Plan which games to play. Um, I mean, if anything, if I was planning a house party, I would be all over social media, like house party, pull up on the block. So, I mean, I would be talking about people I wouldn't want to be there, but I wouldn't uninvite them. I would just be hella shady and fake. Sorry. Um, I mean, chairs are nice, but I wouldn't want people to sit down, like, get your asses up. Uh, make a list of people you aren't going to invite, I guess. That would probably be one of the things I would do after that. You finish your meal in the restaurant, you make sure you go to the toilet before you leave, okay? Order coffees, I don't like coffee. Empty the tray in the bin. I think you only do that at McDonald's. Ask whether a tip is included. No, you better tip them. That's, a, that's an asshole move. Wonder which pub to go to. Yeah, I sometimes use wrapping before I leave, so whatever. Miley Cyrus is like so over a bit 
grassy, racy. Um, quite good looking. She is fine to me. I mean, besides the whole drug shits, she she looks so freaking good. <laughs> A victim. Everything that's wrong with kids today. I mean, she has done some some bad things, like putting the mic up to her uh, to her woman parts and all this other stuff. But I mean, she's quite good looking, so I I care. Never mind. I'd kiss her is what I was gonna say. I date her. Yeah. The current prime minister slash president looks too young. Okay, old. See, I'm a Miss Barack Obama, but since we gotta talk about Trump, he's an old ass bitch. Fix your hair. Get some real hair going way back back to the 90s it's hot you want an ice cream you buy the magnum is not a condom oh the magnum bars okay a cone with a chocolate flake <laughs> why did i say it like that a cone with a chocolate flake an ice lolly 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 okay a cone with the chocolate flake because i don't know what an ice lolly is nor a magnum dire straits were Air. Who the fuck? Okay, I don't know who that is. The best way to become rich is to win the lottery, obviously. To work hard to become a footballer. A footballer. <laughs> to get lucky. I mean, winning the lottery is getting lucky. And to get lucky, you can get lucky on a bunch of things. Like, you can upload a YouTube video that gets 16 million views, and then you get like 2 million subscribers. And then you get. 4 million on Twitter, then I mean you make a lot of money on YouTube. So probably the best way is between getting uh, between working hard and getting lucky. But if anything, getting lucky to be honest. Because sometimes you can work hard at a McDonald's and shit. The iPad is revolutionary, a pointless gadget, expensive, cool, something which helps prevent embarrassing moments. The only thing that would be embarrassing about having an iPad is taking pictures on it and uploading it. Don't you ever take a picture with a, stop it. Don't ever take a picture with the iPad. Otherwise, you're gonna look so stupid. Um, I would say it's revolutionary because like, when I was young, I didn't have the cool stuff. I mean, I'm into this stuff today, obviously. Like the iPhones, all that other stuff, I'm into it. But when I was a kid, I didn't have a freaking iPad. I had a door to open, to go outside with the basketball and a soccer ball and a street to cross. Socks on concrete, jolly wrench kid, I was talking, okay. But the iPad is revolutionary because every freaking kid has them now. My freaking nine year old cousin has an iPad. Yeah, they're for a couple years. You think a pension plan is, the fuck is that? What is a pension plan? like her accent I like it okay I found this a plan for getting aside money to spend after hell yeah you that's hella important if you are going to retire you need money to live after retirement I mean it's it's important to do but um, not what you thought it would be important something worth considering I mean it depends if you're rich and you're rich forever you, you retired at 25 Something worth considering. You gotta consider something like that. After retirement, you need money to do things. You have forgotten where you put your keys. Uh, maybe once in the last, oh yeah. Twice already today. Keep them attached with this handy chain. Rarely I put them down in the same place. No, I always lose the key. I always lose the key. Really, nigga? A fucking seven-year-old. What the fuck? A seven-year-old? My mental age. Of, that's so, that's like a common thing you would people would say. Like you act like a fucking seven-year-old. Are you serious? That really makes me upset. Wow, a seven-year-old. A sixteen-year-old is now a seven. My mental age is a seven-year-old. Wow. That actually kind of hurts, because people have told me that before. Like, you act like a freaking seven-year-old, Xavier. That's fucked up. That is really fucked up. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. For those who still want to collab with me, 
Like I said in the last video, check the about section of my YouTube channel and email me or hit me up on social media at What's Good Xavier. Make sure you guys click the videos down here and click the video or click to subscribe to my channel to the left or the right. Either one of those two. I'll see you guys when I see you.